Hmm. It's pretty fucked up. Every time I say something profound and touching that makes a lot of sense without being over racist or under racist and I walk down the middle line and I tell people how it is, you are speaking the absolute truth. Fuck Africa. If you can't stand and fight for something, then you're going to fall for something. And those people have been falling for bullshit for too that damn long. But hey, a friend of mine once told me that Eritreans don't like us. And that we are less than men because we are mixed with the white man's blood because we have been enslaved all these years. And we're no more than the white man's mongrel dogs that bottom feed off the shit he doesn't want. That's what some Africans think of us. I look at the situation like you do. How can you sit back idly by and become a slave in your own country? Shit, the Africans didn't even get fucking casinos. And Mahatma Gandhi, one of the greatest motherfuckers for peace around the globe, only wanted Indians to be set free in South Africa and not the blacks. Remember, before the whites enslaved us, the Arabs enslaved us. And it was fun to have a nigger on a leash. So now here in America, we don't get beat by the master no more. We get beat by the bastards, the ones we call the police, who replaced the crackers back in the days. Who kept the slaves in line by putting out a few public ass whoopings every now and then. We here in America have got used to the fact that we can see atrocities being played out. The whole time we have been taught to forget uh, the atrocity that have been perpetrated. You pointed out that Africans can give two shits about us and they don't give a shit about us. Because this comes from Africans. Africans have told me they don't care about us. So when you look at the big picture of Africa when they were slaying slaves being drug out when whole entire villages was being raided. You can only feel sorry for those who were snatched. Like you said, you ain't gonna watch a van pull up in the neighborhood and snatch your homeboys without putting up a fight. But what if they took all the ones that could fight? What if they took all the ones that could fight? And the ones that did put up a fight were killed right there. And then that word got out, Boy, you need to come, you better let them take you or you're gonna get killed. Then they got him speaking like Uncle Remus now. Life is fucked. I didn't get to make this video the way I wanted to make it. Because the first video I did was for 10 minutes. And in the first video I told everything I had to say. And in the first video I didn't put you in your place. Because I wasn't trying to. But in the first video I sided with you. And I sided against you. In this video because YouTube has made me mad I'm just going to side with you. Fuck Africa. Those who know my views on race and color understand exactly what I mean by fuck Africa. Because if the African people themselves can't benefit from the continent of Africa, then fuck Africa. And then, when the shit hits the fan, once a country hits the shitter, so to speak, they slap a black man in charge and say, look! Look at these Negroes fucking up again. See, case in point, United States of America. As soon as the country hit a shitter, we got a black president. Why? Because Negroes make mistakes. Negroes don't have the power to lead. Negroes don't have the ability to be a professional quarterback in the NFL. Negroes don't have the power to coach a team. Negroes are stupid. Negroes fall for shit. And Negroes are the perfect scapegoat for when the shit hits the fan. So when you go to the beach and you see the big ships come in and start snatching white people off the shores and the docks, is that when you're going to start fighting? Or is it when the UFOs come down and only pick up white people? There's going to be a problem. People want to, oh no, they can't take the white people. What's going to happen if the UFOs came down and take black people? White people be like, shit, there's some over there. I don't know. But the moral of the story is this. 
You're right. A group of people sat back idly by and watched some shit go down that changed the entire course of history on this planet. You see what I'm getting at? People can say a million bad things about Africa and a billion bad things about Africans. But when you look down into the history books, who built this world? Who built this planet? On the backs of who do we all benefit from? So, when white people say niggas don't amount up to shit, black people are nothing, they only need look at the world around them. Yeah, some white guy might have had a plan, might have had a book with some writing in it, but he didn't grab a shovel until he was forced to. He didn't chop down a tree until he was forced to. When they landed on Plymouth Rock, he couldn't feed himself until he was taught to. So look at all their accomplishments from not having nothing. Look at every white man's accomplishments from his meager existence. Divide and conquer works for those who get to divide and those who get to conquer. See, those people who would want us to thank them for our plight will now depend on us for their survival. You can say fuck Africa 900 million times, but in the end, it'll all start back at the cradle of civilization. It all goes back to where it all started from. And this time around, are you going to let people snatch you off the docks and the banks? Are you going to let people pick you up? Are you going to let people drag you away in vans, put you on trains? I don't know. But when you say fuck Africa, to me, I think you're saying fuck everybody. Fuck everything and fuck us all. So I don't know. But I do agree with you. I do agree that we should not feel sorry for a bunch of people who didn't give a shit in the beginning. We shouldn't feel sorry for a bunch of people who were not equipped to defend themselves in the beginning. And we shouldn't feel sorry for the plight of people who know better after the fact. So in other words, you can sit there with a foot on your neck, Africa. You can sit there and allow to be done the way you're done, Africa. Or you can rise up and become a civilized nation with civilized people for a civilized race of people by a civilized race of people for all people. See what I'm saying? Fuck Africa the way it is. Fuck us for exploiting Africa the way we did. Fuck those who exploit Africa now. And fuck those Africans who sit back and allow themselves to constantly be fucked by the fires of oppression and apartheid. That make any sense? In other words, do unto others as if you would wish others to do unto you. Respect can't be given if it's not received. And no matter what color you are, no matter what neighborhood you are in, and no matter what state you're from or what country you're from, human beings are human beings. When we let one group of people put a foothold on everybody, everybody suffers. Not just those in black face or in black skin because you know when it gets hot under somebody else's feet they like to pass the flames on <laughs>